Okay, the dog I'm sketching today is the French Bulldog. Okay, now before we start, um, remember if you want to know what's coming up next, subscribe, hit that button. <laughs> okay, right, let's start off with uh, this wee chap's eyes. Um, now, dog's eyes are a bit rounder than cats, so start off one there and one there. And this wee fella has got a slightly sad look about him, you know. And Bulldogs have this kind of world weary look. And there's a round eye there. And a bit highlight there, a bit highlight. You know, and then shade in. Nice and heavy on the pencil to get a nice dark shading there. Okay. Like that. And a bit of shading above the eye. And the face is pretty wrinkly, you know, so even though it looks uh, as if he's kind of angry, you know, brows turned down there like that, you know, it's not really, he's a happy, happy chap, I think. <laughs> right, we get a line under there, that shading. Remember, when you're shading with pencil, um, put the weight on when you want the kind of dark areas and take it off when you want lighter like that okay and the wrinkles up the forehead here yeah one there one come right up and maybe going over the other side of his eye here remember that this is a sketch what we're trying to do is make your drawing look lively you know, lots of nice kind of lively lines like that. The top of the head comes in here. And French Bulldogs have fairly erect ears, large ears coming up like that, okay? And it's the centre part. Again, weight on the pencil when you want the dark areas. And you weight off when you want them slightly lighter like that. Okay, another one coming up there. Like that. A bit dark at the top, perhaps. Yeah, then you can use straight lines for your, like that, for your hatching. Okay, now down to the nose. Uh, this is your wrinkled pug nose that he's got here. And the nostrils kind of do that kind of thing on the bulldog. Okay. And the nose shape is something like a bit of a line in the middle, I think. And again, um, the nose would be wet, so you want a highlight coming around the nostril edge here. So if you just kind of shade in and leave a wee bit of light white paper around the nostril like that, you see? Okay. And then wrinkles coming down on either side of the mouth, okay, like that, there, and the line from the middle of the nose or down to the mouth, it kind of hangs down, very characteristic fashion, the bulldog, like that, and the uh, side of his head coming in like that. And a bit more wrinkles, a few more wrinkles here, like that. This kind of curves up the way, and then underneath you get the bulldog chin coming in there. And again, a uh, bit of shading, put the weight on, and take it off. It's quite sheathed in here, we get a wee bit of the, the bulldog's lip in there. Okay. And um, you get the kind of dots coming down on the muzzle there, like that. Okay, it's also fairly dark. And we'll shade it in, like that. There. And now, come to the neck. It's a squat little chap, you know, quite a powerful little dog. So the neck is kind of wrinkled like that. He's looking out towards you, but you see the bodies on the side here. 
and his back perhaps goes up like that. Again, you use short strokes on your pencil. Keep quite lively, you know. Um, again, as I say, the fur comes round his wee fat body like that. So you can use these kind of slightly jagged lines to suggest the fur coming round. Okay. Like that. And uh, his front chest, quite a deep chest there. And again, you know, you can go with the curve of the chest with your pencil lines, you know, or go across them. You know, make sure drawing that a bit more lively. Okay. And the first little leg comes in right here. Starts a bit higher at the bottom of the body we came in there, but the leg probably appears coming from a bit there. And then to a little stubby pause. Like that, okay. Again, a bit of shading in here. Quick shading there. Again, you can cross hatch it. And go around the shape of the, the leg. Now, can this one is sort of further away here, spread out, so probably came in a bit there, see? Okay, and again, a bit of weight on your pencil here as it's shadowed. Okay, like that, and uh, the underside comes up towards the back of the dog. Again, you know, you can use your pencil to suggest the muscle shape and also the, the fur of the dog, which now is going kind of across that way. Okay, a bit line, you know, put in some nice sketchy lines, keep that energy going. Right, um, get a bit of the uh, leg shape in there, coming down to the paws. You put shading in there. Again, the paw shapes coming in like that. And a little stubby tail. Most of the tails of French Bulldogs are docked, so you get this wee kind of stubby tail here. That's his other leg. The back here, again, nice and shadowed. Come in to that shape there. Okay, and again, you can put the weight on your pencil. the dark areas. Okay, let's see. Uh, we can uh, put a bit more shading on here. Yeah, there we are. Another fierce looking chap, but you know, and actually pussy cats <laughs> most of the time. Okay, there we are. There's our French Bulldog sketch. Okay, great. Now, remember, if you want to uh, find out what's coming next, hit that subscribe button. But in the meantime, all the best and happy drawing.